Good evening. I realized the light was a little low on the videos last night, so I turned up the light. Um, we have a dimmer, so it can get really dark, or it can get really bright. And that just probably messed up with the autofocus, so let's just cut it bed like there. I'd like to say hello to Brett Vaughn, who may be watching, or I don't know, um, but he gave me a lot of advice after watching my videos from last night, and it's 11.39, and uh, I think it's safe to turn the amp on. My parents' bedroom is two floors up, so... Um, my mom's watching TV on the couch, but she has hearing difficulties. Uh, so, hopefully I'm not disturbing anyone. Do that. I'm obviously tired. I think I got like six hours sleep. And I took a clonazepam to help me relax. And I took it an hour past when I... I have this thing with the clonazepam. I know this is a guitar video, but I'm just going to go into it briefly. There's 16 hours in a waking day, assuming you sleep eight hours. So if you're taking four pills, that's every four hours you can take a pill. Do a little bit of math, that will make sense. So uh, I took it after five hours. And I took the first one after like three hours of being awake. And the goal is to take as little as possible. Yeah, I'm not supposed to sit cross-legged. And uh, so I've been working on this a bit unplugged before now. Um, I tried some tuning. Uh, there's all these tuning videos on YouTube about how to properly tune, but you need the right note. Uh, but I find, to my ears at least, when I do the... Oops. sounds pretty in tune to me, um, but that string there remains out of tune and I don't know what to do about it, so... So yeah, Brett gave me a uh, simple piece of musical advice based on this chord chart that you can't see and I'm not going to add it in or anything about how to learn, I guess it's plucking, you'd call it. He said it's the G major scale and um, this will be my third time attempting it so I'll be going really slow and it'll sound off and the guitar is probably out of tune so, yeah, what can you do about that? Uh, well, actually, he sent me a link of this. You can buy this 10 to $20 thing that makes it really easy to tune. And maybe I'll buy that. I'll think about it. Maybe I should also just, like, in stand-up comedy, they say there's something called developing your voice, which is uh, learning how to speak naturally while on stage. Uh, and sometimes how you speak on stage is different from your speaking to another person voice, but you get like a stage voice, and I don't think, I've done like a hundred shows, I don't think I have a stage voice yet, uh, but uh, in music, from what I remember hearing other people talk about, you develop something called having an ear, and I, I feel like I have an ear for music since I listened to music for so long. But 
it's not really translating at all into playing music. If anything, uh, my ear for listening to music is interfering with me properly learning because I, I got into complex, like, I hate, I hate all these words for like non-mainstream, but I listen to odd music, I guess, and it was, you could say it's not, they did it differently. And so when I hear a, a, something that's off key, it doesn't sound off key to me, um, just from the music I was listening to. Uh, but Brett has been very helpful and very generous uh, in giving me advice. And so he told me to do this G major scale. So that... Uh, then... I don't know if you release... Okay, now I'm almost playing a song and that wasn't my intention at all. I don't know how well the camera is picking this up, like, it has a pretty decent mic, but, um, like, okay, so I have, like, 5.1 speakers over there for the computer, which are, like, at least 10 years ago when my friend bought them, um, and he later gave it to me. Uh, these were, like, top-of-the-line speakers and they produced the best sound ever. Uh, but that amp over there... That sounds like that's a little guy compared to that guy, but I don't know. Um, like, I don't know, just, like, that sounds, I hate these words, but like organic or like human, like it's part of reality. You, you ever ha hang out with people who listen to electronic music and um, they say, uh, you know, electronic music sounds best coming out of speakers. Well, I guess guitar music sounds best coming out of the amp. Um, and now I have to pee, but I'm gonna hold it. Uh, da, da. I don't know how fast I'm supposed to be going. And then three is so you know what I'm gonna take a washroom break and I'll edit this together later um, so hang on a minute Please. Or actually, I could just take the camera into the washroom with me. I don't see why not. Uh, la la la. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to point it towards the toilet. I'm not that dumb. So this is all music and it's all part of music. This is a legitimate training video for music. Uh, la la.
put that down there. And are we still good? We're we still good. Pick this up. Okay, so yeah, another thing Brett taught me, and I asked him to slow down with the advice because he was giving a lot of advice. Whoa. I think the patch cable was hitting the chair or something. So um, he was giving me advice about how I was holding the gu guitar. And before I was holding it like this, well, like, like this, um, because someone told me not to cover my penis. And now I'm holding it like this. And I guess like... If there was someone over there, they could see my penis. But if there was someone over there, they couldn't see my penis. So I don't know. Um, obviously there's paints. It's just like... It was a joke thing I heard in a video. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. So, um... The thing is, a lot of these notes are sustained, and doing a scale, I assume you don't want a sustained note. So I don't know um, how to handle that, whether just to be patient. I had a Coke, which is Coca-Cola, which is why I had to pee. So I'm a little hyper, so maybe I'm just too hyper to realize. Okay, so that, that's something, and then, so, yeah, that's why I need, that's why the practicing and the, the strumming, like, uh, I think it gave me a sense of a distance between the strings, so just the deaf strumming with my headphones um, was good. Uh, but maybe I need more of it. Okay, so... Maybe that's out of turn. So I could, I could make this video about repeating what I just did there over and over until it's faster and faster, but um, I'm obviously out of tune, so... See, you, you probably can't hear that through the camera, but that sounds like the beginning of the song. Um, but the, it also sounds like it's very close. So, yeah, maybe the computer tuner, because, like, I need a flesh and blood person. I think we went over this before, and the computer tuner could help with that. But why am I getting so obsessed with the guitar when I have plenty of other things in my life, such as, um, well, nothing really. Uh, I mean, well, okay, I, I have a family, a uh, fiancé, um, I have my computer, my camera, and I was making weird clown videos that were going nowhere, um, so why not learn guitar? I feel like I'm trying to justify why I'm learning guitar, and I don't think I need to justify that. Um, and I don't know why I think I need to justify that. Uh, 
I'm getting likes on Facebook and I can't even see. Uh, okay, so let's... Okay, this is probably a copyrighted YouTube turning thing. So I'm not going to turn that on. But... Okay, I just, I literally just learned something there, so if there's any excitement in this video, it's the fact that I learned if you have a sustained note when you're tuning, uh, you can turn the knob and you can hear how the tune is getting higher or lower, because I don't know left is, left or right goes higher and lower, <laughs> higher or lower. See, you're a camera, I'm alone, my mom probably can't hear me, although that could be coming into my head, but I know there's an audience behind you, and I'm getting nervous because I'm thinking of imaginary people who I will never see, who may never talk to me, uh, all watching and laughing at me, and maybe that's healthy. Um, but you, you ever get around those like really big cameras? Um, that like television and movies use, like those freak you out. You're like, I was walking down the street, the, uh, or I was walking through the park with my friend last year, and this like movie production style camera is just filming us walking, and we're in like the backdrop of two other people walking. There were no consent forms or anything, and I just turned to the camera and I was like, holy shit. And my friend was like, shh, just play natural, we'll, we'll get in a movie. <laughs> but yeah, I, I couldn't ignore it, and uh, there were no release signs formed, uh, so uh, it probably the footage doesn't exist anywhere except in some editing room. But let's try this again. <laughs> See, it's like the different the different keys I'm pressing, the the different like uh, strings I'm pressing. It's like two different flavors of honey, um, and to think that you could get like honey with blueberry sauce and honey and raspberry sauce if you just like mixed them with a spoon you could get them to taste the same <coughs> but i think that's what you're supposed to do uh i'll have a bit of water like for me i hear these different tunes and they sound in tune with each other in that they're harmonic, um, but they're not identical, and I think they're supposed to be identical. But the, I want, like, harmo harmony is good, I don't know. So. <laughs> using my thumbs, which are the worst because my thumbs are the most naily and I guess I should cut my nails, uh, but, okay, so, see that sounds almost the same. Okay, so I guess that one is lower, so we want it to go higher. 
Sí. See, I'm convinced these strings are going to break. And all I need to do is spend a hundred hours at least just practicing this stuff. And I don't plan to get rich or famous, and it's all this work, and all I want to do is just jam out and. Uh, Like by the time I'm able to like hang out with musicians and play music with musicians, I'll be uh, an age which I find disgraceful at the moment, and an age which once I am at that age, I'll be desperately reassuring myself it's okay that I'm that age. And I'm already that age. And I, ugh, and I live in my parents' house so I feel like a baby basically, but I don't know. Okay, that's too low. Sometimes it's just like, it, it just has to be like that. But, I mean, I mean, that's laziness. I know I should just like... But, like, part of the thing is, the clock is ticking. I'm making a YouTube video. I can only do this for an hour on the battery on the camera. I don't think anyone wants to watch me do this shit for an hour. And, um... Yeah. Uh, anyways, so... That is the most out of tune thing I... It's like, the effort to tune the guitar, I get as out of tune as possible. That's funny. That sounds fine. So, I guess I shouldn't give up. should be lower. Oh, did you did you hear the click there? That's why I think the strings are gonna break. There's all these clickings and it's bad. So where are we? breaking and I know it's a bad sound song. So here we go. Okay, I'm just going to work on that last note. And 
looking straight down as I tune the guitar, my face is going to get slashed. Okay, I know that's out of tune, but you got to admit that's kind of in tune to an off tune. It's like off tune in tune. It's in tune to what off tune is, and I I don't just mean like completely spider. Everything's going in a different direction off tune. I mean it's a properly off tune guitar. Okay, so uh, yeah. So where are we now? I don't even know what this is supposed to sound like, so how do I know I'm not doing it right and it's not the off tune thing? I think I'm going to be getting a lot of advice tomorrow. See, having tasks to do, see now it's starting to feel like work, and the work part of this video is over, I'm not going to do this thing anymore, um, and I am going to look up chords, and what was that chord I liked, that sweet, sweet E chord, like Laura C chord. That's a chocolate, by the way. Uh, so, is it on my desktop? No. Uh, e chord. This is such a fun chord for me. But I tried the E chord earlier today without the camera. And um, it sounded awful because I had tuned the guitar. So I tuned it out of the good E chord and then it became the bad E chord. Yeah. So that's how I'm going to do it. Right. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's what I was doing. Can I strum just those two? something. I had about six hours sleep and I want to keep going with this but it's already been long. And that playtime was short so I should look up something else. Uh, G 
Org. Uh, so this one says go. What was that? I just saw a flash of red light. I may be hallucinating. One, two, where are those two? Three. Come on, finger. Finger. Maybe if I went over. Went over. Okay. That. It's too late. Uh, it's uh, past midnight. I should not be making that sound. So we unplug this. And thank you for bearing with me. Um, and I guess I got my my little treat at the end, my reward by sounding what I thought sounded like rock and roll. And so the camera just sounded like stupid noise. <laughs>